I'm sure it's nothing you don't like. Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Colosso here today guys and today I'm bringing you another Duelist video. In this video we're going to be talking about one of the spoilers for October. It just came out yesterday and this card is pretty cool. Uh, the card that we're going to talk about is called Day Watcher. There we go. Got it up on the screen for you. This card is called Day Watcher. Uh, I know it's been a while since we've done a spoiler video, probably since Shimzar came out, so I'm glad October spoilers are here to keep bringing you guys spoiler videos that you guys uh, originally liked. So anyways, uh, Day Watcher is a 3 mana 3-3. Three, three. Uh, he's a common minion, and whenever a friendly minion attacks, restore 1 health to your general. Now this is pretty cool, because a lot of people have been talking about this in Heelnar decks, and a lot of people have been talking about this in Swarm Abyssian. Uh, here's my opinion on the card. I I've read a lot of things about it. I've read a lot of things on Reddit about it. And, uh, people who say it's good in Swarm Abyssian, I, I don't, I don't agree with. Because I think I'd rather run Shadow Sister over this. Because I'm pretty sure Shadow Sister is like when any, hold on, let me, let me look at Shadow Sister real quick. I'm pretty sure it's whenever an enemy minion or general takes damage, restore one health to your general. So I think that's a lot better because you can gain health on their turn and your turn. So, uh, because this Day Watcher only works if your minion attacks. Not if it counterattacks, but only if it attacks. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's how that works. So, I don't think... I think I'd rather just run Shadow Sister for one more mana. It'd just be more more value. So, uh, uh, in Swarm Abyssian, uh, I mean, I'm sure you'll see some play in some decks. Uh, probably decks that don't have the Shadow Sister. Uh, probably for, like, newer players or whatnot, this might see some play. But for more of the experienced players and more of the uh, the hardcore fans of the game, uh, I, I think you'll see more of the Shadow Sisters than you will the Day Watchers. Now in Heelnar, a lot of people have been talking about this in Heelnar as well, uh, but I think the three spot is so... The three mana spot in Heelnar is such a... It, it, there's so many com there's so much competition for that spot i think there's better cards to run you know a lot of people run after blaze a lot of people run uh silver guard knight a lot of people run uh what's that one card i don't i don't play heal so i can't remember the names that well because i'm pretty bad at it you know divine bonds three now but you know in heal you don't really see a lot of divine bond this card right here, Radiant Dragoon. You see a lot of Radiant Dragoon in three in the three spot. So uh, and some Forge Lancer. So I don't I don't think this card will actually see a lot of play in UNR either. Only maybe like I said, they're missing cards and they need cards to fill in. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you'll see this every here and there in a deck. But my opinion is that this card probably won't see much play in either of the two big decks that it probably would out of any other decks in the game. Uh, this card might be a cool card for Gauntlet, uh, definitely a cool card in like Hera Gauntlet or something like that. But other than that, um, I don't, I don't think we'll see much play with Day Watcher. I do like the art for, and he does have really cool staff though, so I have to give him that. But uh, that, that's just my opinion on the card. Let me know what you guys think about this card in the comments below. But as always, guys, that's it for me. I'm your boy Clazo. I hope you guys keep on dueling, and I will see you guys next time.